Hi folks, this is Jason. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. I just want to share with you uh, uh, about historical skepticism, really. Uh, I, I was preaching in Manchester and I got talking to a young chap and I told him about the 12 facts of who Christ was that even skeptical historians agree with. And this chap said, You can't say that it was over a thousand years ago about Jesus and it, it, it's just can't, it can't have happened. Um, there's no historical evidence and he was he had historical skepticism about whether life the life of Christ really was true well here's a thinker it's um, a guy called who Zinsger uh, in the varieties of history New York Meridian books 1956 page 302 and he says the strongest argument against historical skepticism is this the man who doubts the possibility of correct historical evidence and tradition cannot then accept his own evidence judgment combination and interpretation he cannot limit his doubt to his historical criticism but is required to let it operate on his own life he discovers at once that he not only lacks conclusive evidence in all sorts of aspects of his own life that he had quite taken for granted but also that there is no evidence whatsoever. In short, he finds himself forced to accept a general philosophical skepticism with his historical skepticism. And general philosophical skepticism is a nice intellectual game, but one cannot live by it. So the person who, who takes the historical skeptic line and say, well, it happened so many years ago about Jesus and we can't possibly know the logical step with that is actually let's look at let's just deconstruct this a little bit more and actually you've got to follow it consistently with a philosophical skepticism once you do that there's nothing you can really know and in the end it's not really worth living with such a philosophy you can't really do anything think anything uh, and it's just not feasible uh, we have to believe that there are facts that we can learn about and know about even historical facts uh, if, we, if, we, if we can't think on those lines then we can't really know anything and what's the point of living <laughs> if you know what I mean so please engage with the facts about Christ there are many facts about him and over the coming weeks and months many videos will be posted about the facts of Christ so engage with it uh, as a young person and don't be so skeptical because if you're skeptical take it to its logical conclusion you've got to live by skepticism and in the end it's a life that you can't live by all right be positive let's believe we can discover facts about Christ or any historical figure and let's go into history and search and learn what and see what we can find and if you look into Christ's life you'll find many many facts Thank you for listening and God bless you.